Now we'll look at how to name polygons and find how many diagonals they have. So polygons are named by the number of sides they have. In this first one, there are four sides, and the, sa the name is quadrilateral. If you speak Spanish, it's cuatro lados. Cuatro is four and lados is sides. This next one has five sides, and it's actually named a pentagon. Penta is for the number five. The next one is six, and that com that name is hexagon. And if you ever heard of anyone putting a hex on anyone, hex is often associated with witches who are supposed to have six fingers. And so there's that language relationship between the name of the hexagon and the number of sides it has. The next one has seven sides, and it's called a heptagon, H-E-P-T-A-G-O-N. And we have, of course, you've heard of this one, eight sides, that's the octagon, and often you'll think of the octopus, which has eight legs, or eight arms, and that is the eight, the octa, an octagon, octa for octopus. We have nine-sided polygons, and those are called nonagons, and ten-sided polygons are called decagons, so if you think of decade for ten years, decagon for ten sides. And finally, the 12-sided polygon, which is a dodecagon. The do is like adding two to the decagon, so it's 12. So um, that's usually the highest you'll go on the number of sides you have to know and the name of the polygon. So when the number of sides gets larger than 12, we just call the polygon an n-gon, where we put the number in for n. n stands for the number of sides. A diagonal is a segment that connects two non-adjacent vertices in a polygon. So we're going to go ahead and draw the diagonals for each of the polygons in this table. The first one's a triangle, which has three sides and three vertices. Well, there are really no diagonals to draw, because if I connect any two vertices, I'm on the edge of the triangle, so I don't have any non-adjacent vertices. So the total number of diagonals for a tri triangle is zero. Now, uh, the next shape is a quadrilateral, which has four vertices. And I can actually go ahead and draw one vertex, uh, one diagonal from one vertex to the opposite. And so you can see these two vertices are non-adjacent because they don't share a sign. Well, I can draw one from that vertex, but there are actually four vert vertices around this shape. So I could draw four diagonals, but two of them are right on top of each other. So I should divide that by two. So instead of four diagonals, I have two diagonals. Next shape is a pentagon, and there are five sides and five vertices. From one vertex, I can draw two diagonals. Okay, well, there are um, five vertices, so I could go five times two. That should be ten, but they're going to overlap again, so I'll end up with five because I have to divide it by two. Our last shape here is a hexagon, which has si six sides and six vertices. From one vertex, I can draw three diagonals. Well, since there are six vertices, six times three, that would be 18. But they're, they're going to overlap, so I have to divide it by two. So I get nine. So hopefully you're seeing the pattern for the formula. To get the number of diagonals, I take the number of vertices and subtract three. Because remember, a triangle had zero, a quadrilateral had one, a pentagon had two, and a hexagon had three. But to find the total number of diagonals, I take this number and multiply by the number of vertices. But since I'm double counting, I'm going to divide by 2. So in our example, we're going to look at how many diagonals you can make from one vertex of a 32 gone. So I'm going to go, well, OK, I do n minus 3, which would be 32 minus 3, or 29 diagonals. Good thing I'm not making you draw that. OK, now let's find the total number of diagonals. Well, it's going to be 32, the number of vertices, times that 29, and then I have to divide by 2 for double counting. So I get 464 diagonals in a 32 gon. So for further reflection, how do we name polygons with more than 12 sides, and how many diagonals does a triangle have?